Hello everyone, in this video, let's see how to create a 3 site analysis template. I have already created my template showing contour in dashed lines and color differences. Also adding minimal style trees. Let me demonstrate you by creating a new template like that. I have created a 3D model in SketchUp with a circular border. Set style like this, so that, when we export, it comes like a line drawing. Set the required view and export as 2D graphic in PDF format. Open in Photoshop. Fill the background with white or any required color. Let's color the objects to differentiate them. First, let's select the road and color fill it. I have a color palette of Google Map downloaded from the internet. I can keep it aside and use the colors. Filling gray color to the roads. Next, select the areas that are to be filled with green. Rather than filling it with plain color, we can paint it with different brushes to give a rough texture to the land. Create a new layer and start using brush tool. Change the tint and shades and paint again in a new layer to give more natural appeal. We can either try blending options for each painted layer or try reducing the opacity. Now combine all these layers into single layer as vegetation by pressing Ctrl plus E. We can also adjust the layer as required. We can color the site area to highlight them. Now, I have the shadows exported from Sketch up as an image. Let's insert it and create shadow. Resize the image. Blend the layer to trace the shadow. We can see that the shadow is applied to the building, but all pixelated. If your shadow is in good quality, you can leave it as it is. If not, create a new shadow layer like this. Select the shadow range for all the buildings. Delete the shadow image layer as we no more need them. Color fill the selection with black color. Reduce the opacity as required. We have successfully added shadow to the buildings. Let's give some texture to the land. Add some patterns like this if you want to give a natural look. Create clipping mask to apply it only to the vegetation layer. Blend the pattern. 
done. Now, let's add some contour lines using pen tool. I am not familiar with the pen tool yet, but we'll try though. We can also create sun path like this. We'll see that in detail in upcoming videos. Using pen tool, create the contour lines as required. Draw the path. Set the required stroke pixel color and select dashed line or dotted line or normal line if required. Now, select each contour levels using any selection tool. Solid fill them with the required color. If you need any color palette to show contours, go to the swatches and select the required color. Clip the color fill layer to the vegetation layer. Make sure that the color fill layer is below pattern layer. Similarly, selecting the next contour level and filling them with next color level. We can see how the color gradation has come. Now, let's add some trees. Open Illustrator. You can also do it in Photoshop. Draw the minimal tree using pen tool. And save it as PDF. I'm using the tree that I have already created. Drag and drop into our workspace. Folder the remaining layers. Resize the tree. And using brush tool, add a shadow below the trunk if required. Now, hold Alt and drag the trees to create copies. Place them in required positions. If you want to hide some part of the tree behind the building, watch this carefully. Select the tree layer and erase it as required. That's it. Now, let me show you the work that I have already done. See how the trees are placed. Thanks for watching. Share and subscribe for more.